Hi everybody, it's been a while. It's been really busy, we've had a lot of things going on. If you hear a lot of noise in the background, it's just the kitties, they're running around and playing. Uh, I just woke up <laughs> a little while ago. Um, as you can tell by the baggies under the eyes, if you can see past the glaring glasses. And then here's Alex, you say good morning? Good morning. What is it with children and being bright-eyed and bushy-tails, but the parents are like saggy aisle eyes and tr tails dragging behind them? I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Okay, well, today, let me see. What's been going on these past few days? i um, been spending more time with my grandmother for the reasons you've known in past videos. I don't think the cancer is anything to worry about. She um, said she's got to wait to have another test done. And uh, she's waiting for her insurance to approve it. And then once she gets the test done, she'll know more info about the cancer. I mean, obviously, if it was really, really serious, they'd be pushing that hardcore. But I, I have a funny feeling that the cancer was found early. So there may be a chance for her to beat it, which I'm hoping and praying for. But the condi the, the problem is the uh, her COPD that's currently in her lungs. So that will take a, an effect into the lung cancer it might make lung cancer a lot worse so an earlier stage of cancer with copd may turn out to feel like stage two or stage three i don't i don't know how it works i mean i, know I don't have copd so i i can't explain it but my grandmother says that if some it feels like she's suffocating on a daily basis so when you add lung cancer to it it's gonna make her feel like she's drowning drowning more or less that is going to be very painful for her. And I feel so bad that she's going through this. Yeah. Yeah. Poor grandma, huh? Yeah. Poor, poor Gigi. Yeah. Uh, we had a big garage sale over the weekend, huh? Big garage sale. There was a lot of toys, and that's where Mommy did most of her Christmas shopping for all the kids. Brand new. Brand new toys, not even uh, opened out of the box. So I found quite a few things. <laughs> for the kids <clears throat> for Christmas. See, I haven't really worked on any art. I did start a, a drawing for Aladdin, but for some reason I just can't find the the umps to finish it. Haven't worked on my Titanic one like I said I was going to. It's just, there's just so much going on. I'm, I'm having a hard time staying focused with things. I mean, I say I'm going to do something, but then I end up not doing it because I end up doing something else that's more important. So pretty much life life just happens haven't been watching a lot of tv um i did put in a job app a new job application for the school district here in my area that's hiring like crazy so i'm hoping i get into that maybe maybe having a a job and a reason to get out of the house maybe that will give me more energy and more pep to actually do things i think the problem is, is i'm just getting bored i'm getting bored staying home let's see uh we spend alex is done with summer school but uh, with him being autis autistic, I still have to work with him regardless. So his routine is still the same. Uh, he wakes up in the morning. Uh, he watches cartoons. And at 9 o'clock, him and his cousin come over and we do school. They're on different levels, so it makes schooling a little a little interesting. Let me tell you, a little, little, little interesting. You know, he, you know they both did. There's some things that they do together. Like we start the day off with calendar with the calendar so we start off with the song 12 days of the month and it's an exercise song where they can get up and they can move their body to it and then we go into um <clears throat> the month the month song yeah he likes to play with my hair too it's nice and soft huh yeah, yeah it's nice and soft he likes to play uh, we do the august the month the month of the year song august and we go into the days of the week after that, we have two papers we do. We do the paper calendar and we do the calendar journal, like what you did in school. We, we're still doing that because I think it's important for him to keep refreshing and keep remembering it because that's for the first time he learned about place value. So we're still working on place value with him um, for math. Let's see. Uh, what else? Then we go into weather like and then that? we do a read aloud. And then this is where the difference comes in. Well, not the read aloud, but after the read aloud. Right now, this week, I'm doing, I'm doing farm, farm animal, farm week. So everything we've been doing has been relating to farms. You know, farm vocabulary, farm matching, and you know, that kind of stuff. Counting with farm animals, you know, that kind of stuff. 
So um, they do. They each do an assignment after the um, read aloud. And because she's on a pre-K level and he's on a second grade level, the assignment is different. Like for today, she's going to be coloring a picture that's associated with farm animals. He is going to be writing sentences that's associated with farm. Like, for example, the cow says moo or the pig is pink, you know, you know, the chicken lays eggs, you know, that kind of thing. He'll be writing sentences. That's, you know, I mean, it's, it's a pain though, because I don't really need to help him because he knows how to write. It's just for him to practice on writing. The other, the other little girl, she, she needs more one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. So pretty much how it works when he's working on his stuff, I'm working with her. But like when it's something new, like, um, but the ELA assignment is where the difference comes in. Cause I have to, excuse me, I have to work with them one at a time, one at a time. So pretty much we'll roll a die and the highest number goes first. So, so if, say if it's Alex, I'll work with him first Why Courtney goes, Why Courtney plays. And then why he, then why I'm working with her, he goes play. He goes and play. So like ELA is based on their, their level. Right now, the only thing she's doing is just tracing letters. That's all she's doing right now, just tracing letters and, you know, Right now, t today's letters is uh, E and F, right? Today's letters, E and F. Yeah. Yep. And then we go over like E is for egg, E is for eggplant, F is for fox, F is for fire, you know, that kind of thing with her. Um, with him, he's working on sight words still, vocabulary, writing sentences. Um, today, he's going to be writing a picture. No, leave it alone. Just leave it alone because she's going to keep knocking it over. She's in her hyper mode. She, The cat is climbing all over the the scratching post and she keeps knocking it over. And he keeps going and picking it up, but she keeps knocking it over. So I just told him to leave it there. What is she chewing on? Oh, she's got her catnip. That's what she's chewing on. Okay, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. math, math is math is a little different because right with her it's just counting and recognizing numbers and tracing tracing numbers with him he's a little bit more advanced in math this is where I have to work on with him one-on-one -on -one. he is working on two and one digit addition so like this for example 12 plus six he's working on well that looks like 15 from that camera yeah. yeah, it does. It looks like 15 for that camera. But anyway, he's working on that that math. He's working on place value, you know, hundreds, tens, and ones, you know, place value. Eventually, we'll be working into the expansion form of that. Um, apparent, he has trouble uh, understanding the differences between greater than, less than, equal to, or more, or less, you know, big and small. Even though those words kind of mean the same. He doesn't, he's not understanding those very well. So we've been working with the problems like, you know, is 35 less than, greater than, or equal to 46? You know, we've been working, oh. we've been working on those. Started introducing those to him. Next week, I will be introducing him to um, money. Next week, we'll be doing money counting. <laughs> yeah, we're going to introduce him money, money counting next week. <laughs> I mean... I can't, I mean, there is some things that I can help him with. I have him enrolled into computer programs. If you're looking for something for your child to do, um, education.com and splashlearn.com. Um, they, they do have a free trial period, but they are definitely not free. But I do the one-year subscription for him because of him being autistic. It helps to keep them on their level and keep them on their toes. I mean, I just started with him, so I don't exactly, and because of the fact that he's been home, and not in school, I actually have to start from pre-K all the way up with him because I need to see for, with my own eyes where he's at and where he's struggling with. Because the teachers don't really tell me where he's at. I have to figure it out for myself, which is kind of messed up because I like more details. Like, like um, us parents, when it comes to our kids, I really think that we should know what our child should be able to do by the end of the year. 
you know, so that way, especially in ele- especially in the early childhood, because that's where it's most important to put those skills in. You want to get those skills in as early as possible. So if the Alex, thank you. So at the beginning of the year, when teachers start off their school year, I think a letter should go home to the parents that has the curriculum in it, so that they the parents know what the kids are doing and where they gotta be. For each subject, rather, it's the ELA. If you're not from around here, it means English language arts, you know, reading and writing. It's what we classify it as. You know, where their math skills need to be. Where does the life skills need to be? Where does the science, you know, social studies skills need to be? Where does that stuff need to be? So that way us parents can work with our child. So if we know what the kids are doing at school and if they need help with their homework and we don't know what they're doing, how can we help them with their homework? You know, it's just bottom line. I mean, me, I like to be involved with my son when it comes to school work, school work at least in the early childhood. During the middle school, because I'm trying to teach him that it's important to do the school work. When it comes to middle school and high school, hopefully he stays on track because I know it's going to be a lot harder to keep them doing their homework and doing their schoolwork. I know <laughs> with me and that, at that time frame, I didn't want anything to do with homework as much as much children did. And it was always, you know, a tease because you come home and you have homework to do, but you hear your family watching one of your favorite movies in the background. So you're not really doing your homework. I mean, a movie that you've watched so many times that you technically don't need to see it to know what's going on. All you have to do is listen to it and you, you can watch it in your head pretty much which is pretty much what I was doing. So I couldn't stay focused on my homework. So I started going upstairs to do my homework at my desk, but my mom and my grandmother got mad because they couldn't see me doing my homework. And I'm like, well, I can't do it downstairs when you're watching TV because it's distracting. You want me to do my book reports and you want me to do my essays and my math work, but I can't do it when you're watching TV. It's distracting. All you have to do is just come upstairs every now and again and just make sure I'm doing it. I'm just hoping that I don't come to that with him with his homework. I'm just hoping that he stays on track. He gets he has a good head on his shoulders. But it's just going to take a lot of me. Not so much pushing. But guiding him and trying to keep him in the right direction. But when middle school comes more. Is where the peer pressure comes into play. And that's going to be interesting. As with him. I mean first. You know. But we learn as we go. Right? right. We learn as we go. Okay, um, we only do school up until 11.30, and then we're done, and then we do lunch, and um, today we have gym class. Gym? We have gym class today, yeah. but I don't know. I have to look at the weather, though, because if it's going to be raining, I'll have to find something for you guys to do inside that's gym-relating, which might be just a few exercises, but if this, it's still early yet. It's only going on 8 o'clock. If the sun does happen to go come up, I'll find a game to play. Well, I'll find a game for you two to play outside. Yeah. All right. Well, if you see my eyes looking down quite frequently, it's because I'm watching the time on the clock down there. Because unfortunately, my videos can't be no longer than 15 minutes. Otherwise, they don't upload on YouTube. Which I don't understand why. Because I see a lot of videos on there that are like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe even longer. So if you have advice on how to get my where I can have my videos longer, uh, be free to be, feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, I do use a laptop for my videos. Uh, I will be, eventually may work on a better camera. And I work, I have this for a microphone because the microphone on my laptop kept cutting my audio in and out. Well, that's, that's enough for today. I'm um, sorry for the long gap, but hopefully <laughs> I'll keep up with it. But life happens. Have a good day, and thank you for joining us. Say bye, Alex. Bye.